We are here at Angkor Wat, uh, one of the most famous temples in the world. It's about a thousand years old. It took 40 years to build. We're going to walk over there. It's going to be quite crowded, but we're across the moat right now. So we're going to be spending about three hours walking around. We're going to cross over the moat, the river, and take a look. <laughs> So we're now nearing the entrance. We start to see some of the details. So this is a story about the demons. Alright, we ready to go in? Let's go in. Apsara is the angel of the celestial dancer. She's a dancer. Dancer, A lot of Apsara coming in this temple. All consists of 1,850 Apsaras. Wow. That's a lot of dancing girls. With a 36 different hairstyle. Really? Wow. <laughs> well, look how, I mean, just look how intricate the patterns are here. Wow. Right, we haven't been inside yet, I'm amazed at this. Okay, this, this is all sandstone, but there's just uh, so many of these. Built about a thousand years ago. Oh, I now have the dancing girl all to myself, wait. This is uh, Vishnu with eight arms. Beautiful stash. Wow. And there it is. Now that's the temple. So we just went through the entrance, which by itself is very impressive. But now we're going to go to the uh, the main show. A little bit away, but we're going to get there. So this is one of the six libraries that are here. It used to consist of uh, books and scrolls and things like that. All right, we're inside the library, but I don't see any books. No books. I don't see a librarian. But I do see a pretty cool building. So some of this has been restored, some of it is original. A little air conditioning. This is the original? Original. They had some skilled artisans back then. Wow. All the way up. Gallery of Thousand Buddha. Gallery of Thousand Buddhas. Okay, because at 16th century it converted to be the Buddhist temple. So. That Buddha is not a happy Buddha because he has no head. <laughs> but uh, a lot of it. Which, uh, which god is that? Buddha. That's just That's Buddha. Buddha. You can go in front. Yes, yeah. I will go in front. Hello, Buddha. And you said there were four pools. Yes. And they represent the four elements? Elements. Water. Water. Fire. fire earth. Earth. Wind. And wind. Wind. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're in a little chamber and you can hear an echo. So my guide's going to beat his heart. I definitely hear the echo. That's quite a heartbeat you got there. <laughs> Another library. Now, it, if you had one library card, did that work at all six libraries? Or you have to get like six library cards back then? So there's some paintings on the ceiling, but it's from the 16th century. And the temple was originally built, what, 9th century? Uh, at the 12th century. 12th century, okay. Well, this is the big courtyard. And you will see 
the three towers, the main towers. Let's see if we can fit them all in one frame. Uh, not really, they're pretty big. Obviously, aliens built this entire complex. And I think it's also obvious they got their materials at Home Depot. There is no other explanation, let's face it. I mean, look at this. A lot of building materials, all sandstone. Look at this, wow. Okay, so this is lava rock. So this is, uh, what do they call these, like this, this five of them you said? Tower. Tower, so there's five, you, you see the three in the front, but there's two in the back as well. We're waiting in line to get to the top. This is worse than Disneyland. Nobody's laughing. Must be just an American joke. You know, the security line at the airport moves quicker than this. Oh look, we went five feet. Uh, people with heart problems should not climb. Now, I've only had three heart attacks, so is that okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting delirious at the end of my three and a half week trip, I think. Right, it's a little steep, as you can see. I didn't really have three heart attacks, but I may be getting my first one right now. It's only 45 steps. I'm not going to look down, because I'll get dizzy and fall. Oh, almost there. Whoa. Okay. Piece of cake. There's all the little people. It's hard to see, but this is the original timber from uh, 900 years ago. Obviously purchased in Home Depot. They have good products there. Is that like ancient scaffolding over there? Yes. <laughs> from year 2006. So that is the main, and how high is the main tower? Uh, from uh, 65. 65 meters. Yeah. It's about 180 feet or so. And those, uh, those, all those little statues are guardians. Okay. So the temple used to be uh, Hindu with an Indian influence and then it became Buddhist. That is reclining Buddha. So this is some more original work about 900 years ago. It's held up very well. And then, you still see a lot of the details. The, the reclining on. The Once again, the main tower from the other side. Parava and the king of Kuruva. Two kings are fighting. Two kings are fighting. Okay, and this tells the story, this whole... Mahabharata story. Story, okay. It goes all the way down. down. Wow. I see a lot of warriors down here. Well, they had the wheel. Horses. They had some heavy fighting. Just say no to violence. And here you can see the reflection in the water. Beautiful. Okay, so now, now it's five o'clock and the sun's going down and uh, the, the temple, this is the entrance, but it's lit up better than it was before. And I think we're gonna go back to the main temple 
Everybody comes here, they go to the sun, see the sunset, they go up on a mountain, like a thousand people. Yeah. I thought the sunset was over the temple, but it's not. It's no, actually not. the sunrise. So this woman is picking the water lilies uh, to be used for food. And she is the only one in this little body of water. She's got a great background there. Okay, I have a new friend, and how old are you? Six years old. Six years old, and you sold me some postcards yes. from Anga Wat. Yes. Very nice postcards. And yes, you're welcome. And in the background, we have Anchor Wat. Beautiful. <laughs> and well, thank you for the postcards. All right, bye. Well, we're not up on the mountain, but the sun just came out. Look at that, very nice. Maybe those people know what they're talking about when they go to the top of that mountain. Angkor Tom, which is built right after Angkor Wat, you can see the south gate right there. You can see the face. Built 1131? 1181. 1181. And on the side, are all these statues original? All original. Wow. But some had a... Reconstructed. Some are restored, yeah. But here we are close to the gate. A little scary 900 years ago to see the. Probably don't want to enter the gate. But we're going in. Okay, so this is a Buddhist temple since 1181. And Angkor Tom. Big tower, center tower here. We have another reclining Buddha. He probably took the tour and was tired and decided to lie down. Ooh, gotta watch your step here. So this is uh, another library over here. Almost a thousand years old. And uh, still in pretty good shape. It's pretty quiet here, unlike Anger What. Is that another dancing girl? Yeah. She a dancing girl? Yes, the same. I think dancing girls made a good living back then. Mm -hmm. Wow. We're being watched by all these faces. Death is only the beginning. I'm getting carried away. That's beautiful right up there. Still pretty well preserved. We got three faces here. Not funny. Not really. Nice. 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 Nice.
몇 명이 내려가시는지 잘 찾으면 안 되는데? How's that for a view of the temple? This is a very well preserved temple from 1050. 1058. 1058, it was built. And the name again is. Baboon. Ba Baboon. Baboon. to God of Shiva. To Shiva. I mean, this one's quite well preserved. Look at, look at the walls here. They replay a lot of new sandstone. Okay, so the reason the wall looks so great because it's restored. It took them 25 years to restore a good part of the temple. And I'm assuming some of that whiter, lighter color is the restored part. Yeah. Well, I climbed up some very steep stairs, I made it to the top. This is the view from one side. Big complex. There's a uh, water. While I'm here, let's look at some of the work they did. So we're now at a temple that's inside the royal palace. And I've declined to go up the stairs because I'm too tired. And they're very steep. Mm -hmm. 45 steps. Oh, only 45 steps. <laughs> At quite a steep angle, by the way. I am sweating. <laughs> it's pretty high up. How many more temples after this? Please see. Any more temples or we're done? We are now in the area of the elephant terraces. There were 12 of them, 12 towers. They're across the way. Built in 1181, I believe. Let's get a close up on one of them. Because I don't think we're gonna go over there. See how spread out they are. It is quite hot and humid here as well. So I just give you a little weather report. But we have some more elephants. Here's some more carvings across the way. Oh. We are downstairs and these are some of the larger carvings here. And over here we have some horses. Looks like an elephant in the middle. Is that an elephant? One horse, one horse of one, five heads. Five heads. 
And what what are these three? I'm gonna call it Levata, the female living the tea. Well, it looks like I found one of the night markets in Siem Reap. A lot of the streets are dark. They're trying to save electricity. They've had a power outage for over a week, I think. But a lot of places have lights, so that's good, including my hotel. All right, we're by the night market. Pretty easy to find. A lot of souvenirs. These are the taxis, I believe. And down this street is Pub Street. I wonder why they call it that. foot massage by having fish eat your dead skin. And that's what these ladies are doing. Ten minutes, one dollar. One hour, five dollars. Not a bad price. 